Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for 6th grade. This is Unit 7, Lesson 7, Comparing Numbers and Distance from Zero. The objective states I can use absolute values to describe elevations. I can use inequalities to compare rational numbers and the absolute values of rational numbers. We're looking at Activity 7.2, Submarine. A submarine is at an elevation of negative 100 feet, or... 100 feet below sea level. Let's compare the elevations of these four people to that of the submarine. Claire's elevation is greater than the elevation of the submarine. So we could, if we stopped right there, we could write negative 99 and a half feet, and that would be greater than negative 100 feet. It would be higher on the number line. There's negative 100, here's zero. Negative 99 and a half would be higher than uh, the submarine, but we have to keep reading. It says Claire is farther from sea level than the submarine, so we have to consider how far is the submarine from sea level. Well, it's a hundred feet, 100 feet from sea level, so if Claire is going to be higher than the submarine and farther from sea level, she's going to have to be above 100 feet in the positive direction so that she can be both above the submarine and greater than uh, greater distance from sea level than the submarine. So we could do something like 101 feet or even 100.01 feet if we wanted to get really obnoxious. But anything that's greater than 100 feet above sea level would be where Claire could be relocated. Andre's elevation is less than the elevation of the submarine. Andre is farther away from sea level than the submarine. So the ele his elevation is less than that of the submarine. He has to be below the submarine. So he could be at negative 101. Uh, so Claire's up here, Andre's down here. So he could be at negative 101 feet. Let's check to make sure that satisfies the next part of his statement. Andre is further away from sea level than the submarine. Yeah, Andre is 101 feet away from sea level, so that also is satisfied with negative 101 feet. Han's elevation is greater than the elevation of the submarine. Han is closer to sea level than the submarine. So Han could be anywhere right here anywhere between negative 100 and 0, but he also could be anywhere between 0 and positive 100. So let's put him at 99 feet, although he could be at negative 99 feet, and that would still satisfy both of those statements. Lynn's elevation is the same distance away from sea level as the submarines. So Lynn could be in one of two places. Lynn could be right here at negative 100 feet or at positive 100 feet. Either one uh, would work because those are both the same distance from sea level as the submarine is from sea level. Let's just go ahead and pick positive 100 feet. Complete the table as follows. Of course, your values that you might come up with or decide on um, could be different than mine. There's a lot. There's uh, an innumerable number, <laughs> innumerable number, that's redundant, uh, values that could be correct for these uh, four individuals. But we'll complete the table using the values I selected. Write a possible elevation for each person. So Claire, they already put one in of 150 feet, which would satisfy both of those statements. 150 is greater than negative 100, and the absolute value of 150 is 150 feet. So for Andre, we decided he was at negative 101 feet. Negative 101 is less than negative 100, and the absolute value of negative 101 is 101 feet. That's how far away he is from sea level. Han is, we decided, at 99 feet. Uh, 99 is greater than negative 100. And the absolute value of 99 is 99 feet. He's 99 feet from sea level. Lynn, we decided, was at positive 100 feet. 100 is greater than negative 100. And the absolute value of 100 is 100 feet. And that's how we would summarize um, all this information using inequalities. Again, our objective says I can use absolute values to describe the elevations. I can use inequalities to compare rational numbers and the absolute values of rational numbers. Thanks for watching.